Hi everyone, our subject today is splenomegaly in pediatric. Up to 15% of newborns, 10% of children, and 5% of adolescents have palpable spleen. A splenic edge felt more than 2 cm below the left costal margin is usually abnormal. A persistently palpable spleen may be normal, but some workup is necessary before making this conclusion. Normal spleen is not greater than 6 cm at 3 months, 7 cm at 12 months, 9.5 cm at 6 year, and 11.5 cm at 12 year, and not greater than 13 cm for adolescents. Splenomegaly can also be a spleen with more than 4 cm or diameter more than 7 cm. Normal spleen size varies but is typically less than 250 gram. Splenic tenderness is always abnormal. The clinical significance of splenomegaly found on the radiologic study but not palpable on physical exam is unclear in the absence of other laboratory or clinical data. A spleen edge pulpa palpated more than 2 cm below the costal margin is always an abnormal finding. History. History of acute illness including fever, chills, sore throat, rhinorrhea, cough, especially with viral infection, abdominal pain, back pain, early satiety due to splenic enlargement, Weakness, fatigue, jaundice, especially if hemolytic anemia. Ingestion of hepatotoxic agent, especially with hepatitis or portal hypertension. Abdominal trauma may be associated with splenic hematoma. Bone pain, fever, malaise, lethargy, bruising, more likely with leukemia. Lymphadenopathy, weight loss, fever with neoplasm. neoplasm. GIT bleeding with the splenomegaly suggests portal hypertension. A neonatal history of an umbilical catheter is a risk factor for portal vein thrombosis and subsequent venous obstruction. A history of surgery or blood transfusion may be a risk factor for certain bloodborne infection or thrombosis. Hepatic disease of any cause that result in portal hypertension can result in splenomegaly. People of Mediterranean or South Asian descent are at risk for thalassemia and glucose 6-phosphate dehydrogenase deficiency. An African ethnicity is a risk factor for sickle cell disease and G6PD deficiency. Ashkenazi Jewish ancestry is a risk factor for certain storage disease, including Gouchard disease. A family history of jaundice, anemia, cholecystectomy, or splenectomy is suggestive of hemolytic disorder. Sudden splenomegaly in a child with sickle cell disease suggests acute splenic sequestration, a life-threatening condition. An enlarged liver, developmental delay, or a neurological finding may suggest a storage disease or metabolic disorder. Physical examination. Ascultate for rub or brewy, maybe in vascular malformation, sign of storage disease, significant retinal examination and coarse faces, complete evaluation of lymph node, maybe infection or neoplasia, Ascites or hepatomegaly may suggest underlying liver disease. Prominent abdominal vein or hemorrhoid suggest increased portal hypertension. Pain or tenderness suggest capsular distension secondary to perisplenitis or trauma or splenic infarction. Asthmatic patients may have palpable spleen secondary to overinflation of the lungs with the depressed diaphragm. How to approach to a child with splenomegaly after performing history and physical examination? Is there features suggestive of infectious or viral etiology present like pharyngitis, fever, lymphadenopathy? If it is yes, consider complete blood count with differential, serology for Epstein-Barr virus, testing for cytomegalovirus, toxoplasmosis, and HIV test, 
If it is abnormal result, differential diagnosis may include Ebstein Barr virus, cytomegalovirus, toxoplasmosis, HIV, other infection, bacterial like Salmonella typhi, infective endocarditis, splenic abscess, spiroketal like syphilis, leptospirosis, rickettsia, Rocky Mountain spotted fever, Q fever, typhus, fungal, blastomycosis, systemic candidiasis, mycobacterial, tuberculosis, parasitic, malaria, toxoplasmosis, toxocaracanis, leishmaniasis. If it is normal result, observe four to six weeks unless clinically ill. Splenomegaly resolved, this is acute viral infection. Splenomegaly persist or patient ill, consider ultrasound of the abdomen, CT, MRI, Differential diagnosis, infection, histocytosis, malignancy, leukemia, lymphoma, Hodgkin disease, metastasis, collagen vascular disease like systemic lupus erythematosus, rheumatoid arthritis, autoimmune lymphoproliferative syndrome. If there is no sign or symptom suggestive of uh, viral infection or infectious etiology, consider CBC with differential, peripheral smear, retic count, if it is abnormal result, suggestive of hemolytic disorder, RBC enzyme deficiency, G6PD, hemoglobinopathy, erythrocyte membrane disorder, hereditary spherocytosis, elliptocytosis, autoimmune hemolytic anemia, drug-induced hemolytic anemia, leukemia, fragmentation hemolysis, systemic lupus erythematosus, paroxysmal nocturnal hemoglobinuria. If there is atypical lymphocytes, obtain serology for ebstein barr virus, toxoplasmosis, and cytomegalovirus, differential diagnosis, ebstein barr virus, cytomegalovirus, and toxoplasmosis. If there is a blast cell present, differential diagnosis, leukemia or lymphoma. If it is normal result, Perform abdominal ultrasound, CT, MRI. If it is normal, this is normal displacement. If it is abnormal, differential diagnosis may include congestive uh, disorder, neoplasia, storage disease, other infection, collagen vascular disease, histocytosis, extramedullary hematopoiesis, osteopetrosis, myelofibrosis, hematoma, cyst, pseudocyst, hematoma, polycyplenia syndrome, hemangioma, lymphangioma. Peers and pitfall, children with acutely enlarged spleen should avoid contact collision or limited contact sport. Viral related splenomegaly rarely last more than two months. Ensure appropriate immunization prior to splenectomy. Counsel the family on the care of a splenic child. Alert. Life-threatening causes include sepsis, severe hemolytic anemia, trauma, splenic sequestration, a large IV, a large IV pore should be uh, rapidly placed when a life-threatening cause is suspected. Thank you.